Three three-minute rounds of World Championship Boxing get underway. Butsenko of Ukraine in red. Nikitin of Russia in blue. It's the men's bantamweight second semi-final, under 56 kilograms, and it's the Russian. And his uh, ferocious style that managed to uh, beat Conlon. Incredible work rate he puts out. How will the Ukrainian deal with it? Well, these two young men, both national champions, both very gritty fighters. The Ukrainian southpaw, and that might work work hard for Nikitin, the Russian. But already, both fighters settling into the task ahead. So both fighters just having a look, see. And we're seeing a very balanced, even bout here as both of these young men just try and sound out the other to see where the opportunities lay. Already the Ukrainian loosening up and starting to throw just a few more punches. Referee reminding them to keep their heads up. Good exchange there, and the Russian bringing some aggression in, bringing those overhand shots in, coming in low, going over the guard of the Ukrainian. So both fighters now starting to step it up. Just over a minute left in this first round, and this is starting to get intense. Well, protect yourself at all times. The Russian lands a great body shot to the Ukrainian. The referee had said break. The Ukrainian didn't quite make it back to guard in time. And the balance of shots from these two fighters, just really, really great. The armory, hooks to the head, hooks to the body. Mid-section shots at semi-final level, very difficult to land, very dangerous to make. But these fighters absolutely putting it all on the line here. The Russian, just the more aggressive here, landing shot inside the Ukrainian's guard. Good left-right combinations, they were tight, they were hard. Well, interestingly, it appears to be the uh, Ukrainian who's standing off trying to use his jab ball. He's the shorter of the two with a shorter reach. It's the Russian who wants to get inside. And uh, they get sent back to their corner. End of round one. Will it be the aggression of the Russian or the counter-punching of the Ukrainian that the judges score this for? So as we see in a review here, the Russian gets in close under the guard of the Ukrainian. Starts to load some shots on. And that good right-hand connection there countered, ironically, by the Ukrainian. So a good round for Vladimir Nikitin, but this is how the judges saw it. Well, interestingly, uh, they've seen it as a mixed result, but Senko getting Judge B, but the other two seeing it as Nikitin of Russia. A bit like what we thought, Will. It was a mixed bag out there and a, a slight contrast of styles, and it could have gone either way. So we go on with round number two. It's a very close bout indeed. Of this going through to the final to take on Chaliabayev of Azerbaijan. In the red corner is Putsenko, Vladimir Nikitin in the blue. Well, it's interesting because if you want to crunch math here and try and work out on paper where the favour lies, Putsenko from the Ukraine is ranked sixth in the AIBA world rankings. Good exchange there. However, Vladimir Nikitin is ranked 10 in the AIBA World oh. Rankings. However, Nikitin is the current European national champion. So, wait, make of that what you will. But what we're seeing here is a very closely contested semi-final indeed. Oh. Oh. So again, referee, just keeping them 
on spot with regards to the rules and hit him behind the head. But no. this is starting to get intense now. Well, he's actually warned the Ukrainian there for coming in low with his head. I, I thought he might uh, have told the Russian there that he clubbed him on the back of the head, but uh, I guess he didn't have much option. Now, this is a good exchange here. The Ukrainian coming back, trying to hold on now. I think he uh, gets a little nervous when Nikitin gets inside. Would much prefer to box at range. The problem Putsenko's finding... Even after allowing some evasive work and some counters against Nikitin. Nikitin gets too close and is able to work inside. So always leaves something for Butsenko to remember him by as he goes out. So the Southpaw on his toes in the last minute of this round, but the Russian now really starting to pile the pressure on, and we could see something very decisive before the end of this round. The Russian headhunting may be looking to stop this very early. Well, it was an absolutely cracking right hand, and the Ukrainian did the best reaction he could, and that was just turn on the, the combinations, try and fight his way out of trouble there. But in terms of quality of blows, well, that was a cracking punch from Butsenko. Well, already we're seeing a margin here. The power of the Russians starting to come to the fore. Big right hand lands there. And referee warning that the Russian needs to keep his head up. But Nikitin needs to come under that guard of Putsenko. And the only way he's going to do that is to come in low. When he's upright, Putsenko picks him off. Good right hand. Well, this is it. The final couple of seconds here. A great trade in the corner. <laughs> Two fighters couldn't be more up for this. Nikitin, his work rate has just been astounding. Let's have a look back. That was when uh, Butsenko reacted to that big right hand. Well, Nikitin just using his power here and the sheer work rate. Well, that's an atricious work rate, but it's paying off because look at the shots, they're landing cleanly and they've got power in them. And that was a grueling round for the Ukrainian, just trying to keep Nikitin at bay. Well, this is how they scored it. 10-9 for Butsenko. The other two judges, Judge B and C, in favour of Nikitin. So right now, we have two judges' scorecards, evens, and uh, one of them has the Russian, Nikitin, slightly ahead. And to be fair, it feels like the Russian's been more aggressive. He, he deserves to have a slight advantage, but it is the slightest of advantages. So we're underway in round number three. Three minutes left to get through to the finals in this men's bantamweight semi-final. Putsenko in red for Ukraine. Nikitin of Russia for all that aggression. Fighting out of the blue corner, but will he tire out here? Well, what a great bout this has been. It's been technical, it's been intense. We've seen a good panoply of good boxing strikes. Great skill levels. At semi-final level, though, in this third and final round, both of these two young men will be making the decision to take this fight to another level, which is what it needs. It's been so close, Colin. And it still is. We have uh, under two minutes now. But Senko, as ever, stands back, tries to pick him off. The Russian waiting for his opening. Well, there's the confidence, look at the footwork, look at the hands, drops his guard, draws the Russian in, as if to say, well, I've still got energy left, and I'm going to give a good account of myself going out of this round. The Russian come here to do business quite seriously, and just containing that raw aggression has been a real problem for Mikola Butsenko of the Ukraine. I mean, interesting, but Senko's dropping his arms quite far, quite low now, trying to egg on the Russian. He's a great counter-puncher, and uh, as for T-kicks in, the Russian has missed almost every punch so far in this round, despite throwing 40 or 50 punches. Help! 
Well, that right-left combination from the Ukrainian has kept the Russian out of his space. He works it again. So fast, a split-second timing between the shots. And it's that combination that is going to put the Ukrainian in good stead in this round. Again, right-left. Big overhand right from the Russian could be the decider. But again, right, left, right, left, works his way out of the corner. But this is a fascinating question here. Is it quality of punches? The Ukrainians definitely hit more clean punches. But again, the Russian is all about aggression. Backing him into a, a corner. This has been a great round for the Russian, but I think the Ukrainian has outboxed him. And if he can just keep up the pace to the end, we might find in favor of Ukraine. So we're down to the final few seconds here. A clean shot either way might be decisive. It's a good left hand for the Russian to finish off on. And these two know they've been in a war. A very sporting hug at the end. And uh, Russia and Ukraine can be very proud of their boxes. Let's have a little look back here at the action from the third round. Big overhand right there from the Russian. But it's that combination that's kept the distance. And it's that combination that's worked so well for Mikola Putsenko. It's not rocket science, it's good classic boxing technique. A jab followed by a quick cross. The right-left combination has worked so superbly for Mikola Butsenko. Who will be joining the Azerbaijani Chelyabayev in the final of this men's bantamweight minus 56 kilogram class? Both men deserve to be there. They've been outstanding. Was almost tied after round two. It's in favor of the Russian. Two to one. Split decision. We have uh, one judge went 10 9 there. That's uh, the judge from Kazakhstan. 29 28. He saw it in favor of the Ukrainian. And the other two judges saw it for uh, Vladimir Nikitin of Russia. And.